Hi, my name's Andy Sykes. I'm an illustrator and animator, and I teach animation at universities here in the UK. Why not check out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find animation and illustration by me, as well as more lessons in Flash and After Effects. Cheers. So another new feature in Flash CC 2014 is also an old feature that they've reintroduced. In the last version of Flash, in Flash CC, they got rid of the motion editor for the new types of tweens that was present from Flash CS4 onwards. They've reintroduced that now, but they've cleaned it up and made it easier to understand. I still don't particularly like using the new tweens because I think they complicate things, but they're really good for doing particular types of smooth and complex animation. So what I'm gonna do to create one of these new types of tweens. I'm going to hit F5 and expand the span of this hexagon symbol that I've got, my timeline. So it exists for 25 frames. And we're going to right click on it and create a motion tween. If you've never used these before, I do recommend that you check out my new motion tweens tutorials on my website, hexjibber.com. So what we need to do now is move to the end of our span and just move the hexagon somewhere. And you can see that we get this motion line appearing, showing us the motion of our hexagon. If we want, we can move this first keyframe all the way up to the left so that we get this nice long animation of the hexagon moving, like so. And the cool things about these motion lines is you can arc them up and change the way that the hexagon moves. That's something that you can't do with classic tweens. In the past, there was a separate motion editor for editing these new motion tweens. But now, instead of that existing, it all displays in the timeline. So I'm gonna double click on this span here, as we call it, and you'll see that we get our motion graph for both the X and the Y here in our timeline, which is a lot clearer than it used to be. So what I can do is if I want to add an ease to both X and Y, I click on location, go over to add ease, and I can choose from lots of presets that already exist. Go to choose a simple one, choose fastest. So that's essentially easing out where it starts off quickly and it gradually slows down. You can see that all the points along this path are much closer towards the end. So if we play that through now, you can see that it starts off quickly, gradually slows down as it moves along. But say if we decide that we want this animation to rotate, if we go to my properties and tell it to rotate once. But if we want to change how the rotation looks, which currently looks like this, you can add an ease to that. So for example, if we want our rotation to spring, we could try applying that ease. And you can see that the rotation now has that springing ease applied to it, and it stops springing towards the end of the animation. So it rotates a lot at the beginning, and then stops towards the end. The cool thing about this is you're able to edit the eases on all the different properties within an animation. So you can ease the rotation in a different way to the X and Y position values, and it gives you a lot more control. The problem I have with these types of tweens, as opposed to classic tweens, is if we hit F6 at frame 40 and create a new keyframe, so you move the hexagon up here, if we play it through, the eases that we applied earlier will stretch all the way across, not just the first two keyframes you made, but all three of the keyframes that we've created, which is no good if you're wanting a separate ease to go from frame 25 to frame 40. If you want to do that, let's just undo a few steps before we create that third keyframe. What you can do is insert a new keyframe by pressing F6 and right click on it and go to split motion. This feature has been around for a long time. It's not new in this version of Flash, but I find that it makes things easier. 
So if we create a new keyframe and move our hexagon over here, we can double click on that span and apply whatever eases we want to that. So we could get rid of the spring, have no ease on the rotation, and we could put a slow on both X and Y. There we go. And play that animation through. You can see we've got two separate eases on two separate spans of our animation. I find that this is a much easier way of working with these new types of tweens. Obviously, you'll have your own way of using them. I think the way that they've tidied up the motion editing process is good. I'm still not going to be using these new types of tweens. I'm going to be sticking with the classic tweens because I find them easier to use. Hey, thanks for checking out this tutorial. Next up, why not take a look at my website, hexjibber.com, where you can find out more about my self-published books, the Hexjibber Coloring and Activity Book, and the Hexjibber Anti-Revision Book. They're both suitable for kids and adults alike, and are well worth checking out.